Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hey guys, Jason from Canine State Line. Out on a nice morning walk with Olive. Uh, I have the puppies inside, um, but can't slack on the other guys. The other guys need love too. You gotta make sure the other dogs get their exercise and their activities in as well. Um, I can already tell that Olive needs a little extra time with me when I have it because my downtime is always spent, or her downtime is always spent with me taking care of the puppies. So I gotta try to balance the dynamic out and be very careful as to w what my older dogs are feeling, what our older dogs are feeling about you know, these new dogs and then where our affection and attention is being shown and when and to who. Um, because everybody's watching, everybody's learning, everybody's, you know, adapting to proper behaviors and it's our job to guide them the right way. Uh, I've seen or heard about situations where new dogs come into the house, especially more than one. And, uh, you know, the older dog doesn't take it very well. It doesn't necessarily, well, there is situations where they, they you know, bite them or get, get after them or something in a very, very negative way. Um, but some dogs will shut down and get depressed, like literally. They will go off on their own and stop engaging and just be depressed. And what my theory is, is that's from the sudden change in their daily routine and affection and activities that was keeping them nice and, and happy. And so that slip might have, you know, may, been a little more powerful for them than, than others, you know. Some dogs might get mean, you know, and, and upset about it, or at least what we perceive to be upset, but this is just dog behavior. Uh, some kind of communication in the pack that they're having to deal with um, or think they need to deal with. But, um, you know, we, we gotta be careful not to, uh, forget about or well, we're not going to forget about them but we have, to, we have to remember what makes them happy and what keeps them going every day and what keeps them behaving the way they do um, and the dynamic strong and you bring two new dogs into the house two new puppies you really got to check yourself on uh, those time you spent that time spent with the dogs um, and if you do that you can have a perfectly harmonious large group of dogs, uh, puppies, older dogs, different breeds, um, but it is a constant supervision, a constant focus, um, and it's fantastic if you do it that way because everybody lives happily and that's when you see these videos of these dogs just getting along and it looks so fun and harmonious, um, you know, that, that's created by the environment that the humans build around them. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, keep following us, or start following us. Uh, like our page, uh, check it out. Uh, we provide all sorts of services um, for people in town, and we also can answer any questions from people far away. Um, and tons of posts and information, and now there's a uh, puppy series building on IGTV that will pretty much chronologically be able to take you through all the little things completely transparently about uh, bringing a puppy up. Um, I know it doesn't happen often, but there's a reason why dogs that we find at shelters have some very weird and strange pre-associated responses to things. And a lot of it has to do with what went on during this stage of their life. So if you're looking to modify behaviors in your dog now that are strange, or if you are raising a younger dog and wanna safely expose them to certain things, uh, check it out, it should help.